The KVT 400 can do fans as well. And I'll show you how to change the settings. So if you've got a bunch of fan circuits hooked up, you can set each one to start individually. You press anywhere around the temperature and then circulating fans. Then here's circulating fan number one, run degrees. Fan number one is going to turn on at 71 and turn off at 66.1. So you can set the starting temperature and the spread between these two numbers. We'll show you in a little bit. Fan number two, fan of bank three, fan bank four. You can go set each one of those at their own starting temperature. The max mile per hour, if you've got a naturally ventilated barn and you want the fans to turn off when it's windy, you can set that right here. If it's tunnel fans, you don't want to use it, but otherwise you can. And then there's also a fan shut off degrees. If you want a fan to shut off after it gets so hot, that's like if you're staging things, if you're staging things and you want a fan to shut off after it gets so warm because it's the wee baby one and a bigger one turns on, you can do that. And then you have the dead span and you can go through each each fan and set the dead span is the difference between on and off. So you can set that anywhere between zero and 20, 20 degrees. But really for dairy applications, probably two to three degree spread. And you just adjust that to keep the fans from cycling too much. So overall, that's how you adjust the fans. You've got your start temperature. You've got your max wind if you want to have them shut off when it's really windy. And you have your dead span to set the difference between on and off. So those are the important items for you to remember with your circulating fans.